Four years ago, it was a huge American hit for Squeeze. They're back in business after three years of not terribly successful solo activities, and next week they'll be playing in the UK. This is how they sounded a couple of weeks ago in Houston, Texas. And before the show, with the temperature moving towards 100, I asked Jules Holland, whoever he might be, why Squeeze had decided to give their 11-year-long career another shot. I think we're all agreed that what we do individually isn't actually as good as what we do all together. In other words, um, we can't really, uh, I mean, we admit, we're the first to admit that, and we need one another to sort of um, moderate what the others are doing, uh, otherwise we just go off on excesses on our own. Uh, and there's very few people you can think of that, that sort of break up and actually make better records on their own than they did when they were together. Yeah, people have referred to this record as being an adult record. I think that's true. I think, I think, I think, <laughs> yes, yes, it's, it's not suitable for mine. But I, I don't know, you see. The thing is, I think it's probably the most um, most complicated record that we've had. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I would compare it to the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel because it's not Which so particular detailed. bit? Well, it's... the whole thing. This is oh, what I'm I saying. Yeah, in other words, we were on our backs when we did it. And there's lots of detail. Um, there's been, you know, there's lots of allegory and detail. And when I hear the record, there's still lots of things I hear in it that I didn't hear when we were doing it. But seriously? they say. It is a pretty um, down album. I mean, some people would say it's pretty depressing, Chris. Songs about drinking and uh, romance has gone wrong and things like that. Um, I think some of the songs are quite optimis optimistic. I think King uh, George Street is a very optimistic sounding, sounding song. Although I'm there sure are a lot of people wouldn't think that on first hearing. I mean, what's it about? Well, it's about um, a couple who have got some uh, a couple of kids and they live in um, a council estate and it's a breakdown of communication between the two of them because he goes out and gets drunk and takes his uh, his um, troubles out on on her on the, on the wife but and by the time you get to the end of the song I think he's beginning to realize where he's been going wrong Yes, I mean, it's remarkable 
but we sell in, in places like New York, we outsell a lot of sort of modern and pop food, and lots of really young sort of teenage Americans come. Yes, they do. I know it deserves a round of applause because it is such a it is such a remarkable achievement. <laughs> Yeah.